Aloha everybody, Mike Drutar, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour today. Well, you can see where we are. Holy smokes, we're in Kona Vistas, here in Kona on Kilohana Street, up at the top of Kona Vistas, and check out that view. How does that work for you? I'm gonna show you this awesome home. It's a four bedroom home with this view and I think it's actually priced right, listed at 2.4 million. There's actually gonna be a couple of you I know who are gonna call, text, email me uh, as soon as you see this video, cause you're gonna be like, this might be it. If you're in the market, this is one you're gonna be really interested in. This is brought to us by Lance Owens and Kimi Nagatoshi over at Luva, very good friends, excellent agents. And uh, love to bring them a buyer on this and work with you. I'm gonna go back out front just wanted to give you the sizzle right at the beginning with that view from the pool and show you what we're looking at here. So this is recently built. If I remember correctly, I think it's the Fadouk brothers who built this. They do great work here in Kona. Um, let's come out here real quick. We're at the very last lot on Kona Vistas at the top, but on the Mackay side of Kilohana Street. Now, you, if you have your choice, you do want to be on the Mackay side of the street because, you know... These neighborhoods, let's see, the land does that, right? And they build a street and then they push this out and then they cut in on that side, right? So when you're on the Mackay side, you have a bigger drop to your neighbors than if you were on the Malka side. So super desirable. The other thing is if you're on the Malka side, there's street lights. If you're on the Mackay side, there's not. We got a stucco exterior, we're fenced very nicely landscaped you see we got lots of little palms and sotals up front this house is fully furnished there's a couple art pieces that aren't going so when you see these beautiful vases which those aren't cheap guys let me just tell you uh, that stays with it we got some nice flame palms two car garage so i said the stucco exterior nice wide garage door we have a solar hot water heater as required asphalt shingles Nice rock wall work, so we're dropping down as soon as we come in. That way we can push out further on our lot and take advantage of as much of it as is possible. I'm gonna tell you my three favorite things about the house and the one thing I would change or add if this is mine, you gotta stay till the end for that. I like that piece. Nice job on that. It looks like a nice piece of copper on there. So coming in here at our front door, 12 by 24 tile, in great shape. It kind of feels like a quartzite to me. Not sure if it is, but it's got that kind of a texture that I really like. Etched door, or etched glass on the door with the bird of paradise. Looks great. And then let's come inside here and see what we have. I think you guys are really going to like this. I think this represents a pretty good value. We've got 18 inch travertine tile with tight grout lines and the grout's in great shape right here at the entry. We have a little bit higher um, entry spot or uh, ceilings right here at our entry with our recessed lights. We have nice flat baseboard with flat trim around our doorways. That's something we really like to see. So it gives it that nice modern touch. And like I said, there's a couple, I think the artwork that's not included is like that Hawaii thing over there. Like this is included and what a great, what a great entry piece. I love our little bench here. Good job. We come immediately into basically the, the great room with your living, dining, and then kitchen slightly behind me over there to the right. We'll get to cover all that. Then the guest wing of our house on that side with the owner's wing on this side. Let's just go straight to the owner's wing. This is uh, your room, furniture included, guys. I mean, pretty nice. So there's a king size bed, really impressive headboard there. It's not coming out as much on camera, but that thing is big and nice with that smoothed off live edge. I like it. Uh, you can fit any size bed in here you want. If you want to add more furniture, uh, you can. I think they did a really good job with it. Um, yeah, I like it. Nice large TV. Oh, we have our split AC systems. Now, usually you're probably familiar with seeing your split ACs over there, but you can also get these drop down Fujitsu's, which are really nice just because they don't uh, jump at your eye so much. You don't notice them there quite as much is when they're right above the, the slider, which is traditionally where we see them. Check out this wood floors. I'll double check on that. I think it's acacia, uh, but don't hold me to it. Um, but whatever it is, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You got a slider right here going out to our outdoor living area. 
Uh, that's I call it the outdoor living area because I know you're going to spend a lot of time out there. And I like our two panel doors, nice and modern. We have a pocket door coming in here to the ensuite bathroom, which we would expect to see at a home like this. And then check these out. Nice, uh, I believe that's a quartzite on the countertop. Nice work on that, looks good. So they cut it right here and rolled it. So you got some pretty decent lineup of our lines on our second level there on our trim. Nice large mirror, brushed nickel finishes. Got a linen closet over here. I like what they've done. You're gonna see this throughout the home. These louvered closet doors, they look great. And we have 12 by 24 travertine tile. It looks like the same travertine that we had at the entry, except it's 12 by 24 instead of 18 by 18. And then I think we transitioned to a slightly darker tile here in our dual shower head shower with a, a negative threshold. I think he stepped down about an inch and a half. So that's kind of nice, very easy access. Um, I like it. I like the dual shower heads. We don't see quite enough of that. Um, I think it's really cool. Privacy door over here for the toilet or water closet for some of you. And then we have our entry into our closet. Got a pocket door here. Um, his section is smaller. So this door doesn't come in right at the middle. Got a nice built-in two hangers for shirts built-in. And then I like your, just that extra shelf up there. So you guys know, some of you know, we've done a remodel on our place. We added another shelf up top just for your long-term stuff that you don't need. But otherwise, if you don't have it, it's going to go somewhere that is really more useful than it deserves to have. Uh, and then the uh, her side, and I say it's that because it's larger. You got an extra built-in over here, but you also got the length for hanging dresses plus shirts on that side. So that's how that goes. All right. Good so far. Let's come over here into our main living area. We have a nice vaulted ceiling. I like the indirect light that's softened all the way around with our wood trim. Looks great. Nice large propeller style ceiling fan. And hey, yeah, we're a, we're a level five sheetrock here, guys. I'm a big fan. Uh, this is the look people like. You know, if you, if you have texture, that's fine. Uh, I'm not knocking it, but this is kind of better. It's more desired. People like the look a little bit more. We're done with the rounded corners, 90 degree corners here. That's really good as well. Let me go actually and step back here to this side so that we have the light behind us. That'll make things look a little bit better on camera. And plenty of space here. So you have your dining set up over here. You can easily put six people at that table, I think, maybe with some different chairs. Those chairs are a little wide. Uh, or you could change it out. You got a nice large sectional. You could make this room, you know, you could push this further to the left and give yourself a little bit more room over here in the dining area uh, if you like. But plenty of space here, nice TV, super large. And then right here into the kitchen. Excellent job on the kitchen, really good looking. Slightly different quartzite than we saw over in the bathroom, uh, but it looks great. This might, it's not Taj Mahal, but it's a little similar. I like it better than the one we saw in the bathroom. Uh, a little more flowy and clouded as opposed to the lines that were a little bit distinct. Uh, looks like we got African mahogany here on our cabinets, guys. So great work on that. Soft clothes on our cabinets. Nice large brush, brush nickel. And they're not dovetailed joints, but I think, I don't think there's any joints. I guess they're solidly screwed in here or something. They're really solid. Uh, looks great. Lots of cabinet space over here. Really, really like the work that they did here. And they've added a bunch of these pullouts. Uh, I'm a big fan of pullouts because they just make life a lot easier. Let's see, we got some more over here. Yep, you're gonna like that. Uh, let's see, this is rubbish and recycling. Nice and hidden, more pullouts down there. You get the idea, plenty of space on that. All right, let's talk about the appliances. So we got a KitchenAid stove and oven, four burners on that. And we brought that granite, or I'm sorry, quartzite all the way up till we hit our KitchenAid stainless steel vent. Oh, a nice little cap crown over here on our cabinets. Looks like we're at 42 inches on these cabinets, good size. Coming around, we have a dual basin, large stainless steel sink, KitchenAid on our dishwasher. 
coming into our pantry. Nice solid built-in on the pantry. Lots of storage space on that. I like it. And you know, room for like putting your extra stuff that you don't want out. And over here we have our microwave and coffee station set up. Absolutely perfect for that. And then kitchen aid, side-by-side -side refrigerator with the drawer freezer, water and ice on the door. Uh, double stack with a high, you know, usable um, cabinet there. You know, sometimes these cabinets are actually too small or too far back to get to from the top of uh, your refrigerator. So I like the work that they did on that. Uh, nice pendants. They almost get lost because they're, they're clear. Maybe a, a splash of color on those would help pop and bring some attention to them. I don't even notice them, to be honest with you. Uh, and then let's come down to the guest wing of the house and the garage. So first, bedroom number four. They're using it as an office. I think this is how it's best used, quite frankly. You could fit a twin size bed in here, but that would be it. Uh, it's an extra bedroom, really. Uh, but they do still have the mini split in here. So if you need a space to work and stay private and not get distracted by the awesome view, you got it. But technically it's a bedroom because it has a closet and an escapable window. That's what it takes to make a bedroom, guys, in case you didn't know. And then let's come down. I'll tell you what, we'll just, we'll pass. We got a closet right here on the side. Nice for putting towels, odds and ends. And then next is our utility. We have a different quartzite countertop in here. It looks great, but we have the same quality African mahogany cabinets. I like that they didn't skimp on that. Utility sink. Place to hang the clothes as the laundry is being done. Nice uh, washer and dryer. And then out here to our garage. Take a quick look at this. Won't take too much time in the garage, so stick with me. Jeep is not included, but you know, they say everything's for sale. Um, <laughs> make a big enough offer. I like that you have an extra refrigerator, some solid shelving and storage in here. Wow, if this is all included, I'm, I'm liking this for me. Um, and then our storage solution racks up here. So you can get those bins that you get over at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, put those in there. Excellent way to use some of your space for storage. Solar hot water heater, whole house vacuum system right in there. We're painted floor here, more storage. I mean, they've just done a really good job, even a ceiling fan to move some air around in here if you have it open and you're doing some work. More storage, place to put all your goodies. I'm loving this, man. This is really, really good. All right, let's keep moving it along. I don't want this to get too long for you. Bedroom number two. I call this bedroom number two because it's good size. They got a queen size bed here. You could easily fit a king size bed. Two nightstands like the rug that we got. Ceiling fan, recessed light, mini split AC, closet with louvered doors. This is bedroom number two because it has the ensuite bathroom, single basin sink, toilet. Travertine tile throughout, all the way up this wall, all the way up to the top with a nice blue band and that negative threshold entry, nice and easy. I really like that there. Let's spin around. And we have a additional linen closet along with our closet right here. Slider going outside, so you got some ocean view from here. Looks great, that's a nice treat. Continuing on, we have a triple Jack and Jill bathroom. So you can come in here through the hall. You can come in here through bedroom number three, which has a pocket door right here. You can also come in from outside at the pool area. You got wet feet, you don't want them going through the house all over that nice wood. You need to go to the bathroom, you can come in this way. Nice setup on that. Toilet, negative threshold entry right into our shower, travertine tile, and different blue band all the way up to the top. Good job on that. And the same cabinet, might be a different stone, but the same size cabinet, nice and big. Uh, where am I? Uh, this is a, this is a Ren Spooner again, and it was a little long. My seamstress pulled it up a little bit and it looks great now, but if anyone has a good seamstress here in Kona that's easy to get to, let me know. Mine has moved to the mainland and she was a godsend for me. Um, we still have our split, recess lights, I love the artwork that they have throughout the home here. CJ Kale, he's a local photographer. Guy's gifted, I've seen him, his stuff in the gallery is amazing. Um, that's incredible. Like that, the more you look at that photo, um, 
Wow, yeah, that's really cool. That is really cool. Um, all right, sorry, I got distracted there. I like my photography, what can I say? Um, out here to our back lanai, of course, we're gonna finish up there in just a second. Good size closet. You could fit a king size bed in here as well. Uh, you got the room for it. It feels like maybe it's a little shorter, uh, this room, than the last room, uh, but still pretty darn good for bedroom number three. And then let's finish off with some details over here on the back lanai. We got a cover lanai, a large pocket slider. I'd say we're looking at about 18 feet on this pocket slider, maybe a touch more or less. Room for your table and chairs. This is where you're gonna be eating, folks. I don't know that you're even gonna use that hardly at all. I think this is where you're gonna spend your time. This is where I'd be spending my time. I mean, I don't know why you'd wanna be anywhere else. And you got your lounge area, so when you have friends over, there you go. And uh, got the umbrella. We got a couple loungers. This is excellent. Got a little privacy here with this hedge. I like it. And then our nice large pool, infinity edge, not just infinity edge on the back, but coming halfway in on both sides, dual main drains for safety. I like it. Not everyone does dual main drains out here for some reason. Colored plaster, nice wide entry, blue tile band going across, it's firing off, gorgeous in the sun. And then just that view, like, holy smokes, guys. That's pretty incredible. Looks like we got a little weather out there. Like you could watch the weather go by. Sometimes it comes to you, sometimes it misses you. Who knows, really excellent. All right, time for my three favorite things and the one thing I would change or add. Okay, you know in these houses I have a tough time with the change or add part. But uh, favorite thing number one is obviously this view. We get great views, but there's the top level view you can get, as good as it gets, is sweeping, unobstructed, unobstructable, like someone's gonna be able to build a lot up in front of you, coastline views, not just ocean views. Like you can see the shoreline all the way across. It fires off right down here in Lyman's Bay. Looks gorgeous. I mean, this is a 365 days a year sunset view. You see all the way to the Kona Airport. Um, pretty spectacular. So favorite thing number one is going to be the view, the pool, the outdoor lanai area, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's as good as it gets, guys. I mean, let's go for the real shot. Just come all the way down here. It almost completely disappears. <laughs> like you see almost no shoreline there. Pretty nice. Um, favorite thing number two. Hmm, where am I going to go here? a couple things I'm thinking but I think what I like most or second most is the kitchen now it's not a huge kitchen but it's got everything you need but they did a good job by using African mahogany throughout and a nice quartz countertop the appliances are in excellent condition they're good quality with KitchenAid I think they've done a great job here in the kitchen um, yeah I'm super stoked about that plenty of space I like it favorite thing number three is that it's a four bedroom now I know this bedroom here is best served as a closet but the fact that you're not ha I'm served as an office, the fact that you're not having to sacrifice a regular full-size, fully functional bedroom for an office setup is really great. And you can use that as an office or a workout room, you know, stick your, your exercise bike in there or, or whatever. But just having that extra space that's not taking up this space is really good. So I think that's my favorite third item because usually we see these and they're three bedrooms and for some people three bedrooms is just not getting to be enough with remote work and things like that uh, i'm going to add a fourth thing bonus the artwork that is staying throughout here and just the furnishings some of this artwork might maybe it doesn't stay but i think everything's staying except those hawaiian islands and if you buy with me i'll get you some hawaiian islands um on this house <laughs> um i think that's really good it really just it looks uh, spectacular throughout. The one thing I would add or change, uh, I would add solar photovoltaic. Um, just because we have our mini split system, so we may run that. We got our great pool out here, um, so we're gonna use some energy there. I think this house is ripe for a, a photovoltaic system with your Tesla power walls, and that investment will pay off for itself, uh, certainly within 10 years, and you are set. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. I got more for you in the corner. See you again real soon.